Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all this big load of games and stuff and controllers and one controller and all that right here. And this is going to be my Black Friday pickup video. And I actually want to do one of these uh, because I, people like pickup videos. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I, I'm fascinated by them as well too, but uh, room tours, game tours, and like game setup tours and unboxings and, you know, pickups. People love these videos. I don't know why. I like them too, I don't know why either, but anyways, I wanted to show you all this, and some people might be saying, Black Friday, this, this is really late, dude, come on. Yeah, I know it's really late. The thing is, I did like 98% of my shopping online, and because of some complications, everything just got here today. Uh, well, the last bit of stuff, so I decided to show you all everything, because some of it I have to send off as well, too. So, what is Black Friday? To anyone that does not know, now it's pretty much a worldwide thing, but in the U.S., we have Thanksgiving the last Thursday of November. The day after that is called Black Friday. Black Friday is supposed to be this really big shopping day where everything from, you know, CDs and video games and movies to bigger things, like, for example, you know, washers, dryers, uh, wood, anything like that, you know, for your house in general, just goes on really deep sales. Now, this used to be a really big deal in the 90s and even the early 2000s. But then what happened was Cyber Monday happened where with the rise of online shopping, now if you didn't want to go out at like 5 in the morning or 3 in the morning on Black Friday, you could wait until Cyber Monday to get a lot of things done and you could order your stuff from there like Amazon or other places. But then stores started selling their stuff early. Like now there's stores, it's disgusting. There's stores that sell stuff on like Thanksgiving, like Thanksgiving Day at like 6 p.m. That's when they start opening. Uh, but now there's also a lot of stores where they do like Black Friday week and Cyber Monday week. And most big box stores that are open for these deals, you can actually get all the stuff online or most of the stuff online. So now it went from having one day of sales to do two days of sales to two weeks of sales. And you can get almost everything you want online. So it's kind of almost useless going out for Black Friday, especially since last year I only got one thing. I got Smash Bros on Black Friday. That was it, and I ordered that through Target. Uh, but this year I actually got a lot of stuff because there was stuff that I wanted, and I decided to pick it up. Uh, and I guess, eh, no, I had about the same amount of money to spend, but, you know, that's besides the point. So anyways, I'm going to be showing you all the stuff right here. So for anyone wondering if I went out or anything, I did. But I wasn't one of those crazy people that went out at, like, 2 or 3 in the morning. No, there's only a few things that I went to get on Black Friday, right? And these are for myself. So right here, I end up going to GameStop and we went at like 11 in the morning, right? It was my brothers and I, and I almost went at five because they had a, one of my, fr one of my brothers is a big Amiibo fan. And we wanted to go at first, well, I was going to go at like five in the morning to get him the Ike Amiibo that got uh, refreshed over at GameStop. But I was tired, you know, I, I had that Thanksgiving dinner and I was, you know, in food coma mode. I was like, you know what, they'll have enough stock, it's fine. And that's how it was. They said there was going to be a big, rare Amiibo restock. We went there at like 11 in the morning. They had been open since 5 and they had like 20 copies of each Amiibo. But for myself, I got this uh, white Xbox One controller. It's a cloud white controller. Uh, I actually like it. You know, it's one of the new ones that has the 3.5 millimeter jack right there has better thumbsticks. Uh, the bumpers, I actually like the bumpers. Some of you might know I hate the bumpers on the Xbox One controller. No, this one, uh, the build quality is much better on it. There's also grips on the back of it as well too. So overall, it's actually a much more comfortable controller. One of my buddies in the UK got one of these and I was like, you know, that's kind of slick. I might pick one up. So that was on sale for $45 and it's kind of a special or limited edition. I'm not sure. And then this right here, I got Freedom Wars for the PS Vita. I know it just uh, went on a digital, like it went digital for free on PlayStation Plus. But this is cheap enough, I decided to get the physical copy of it. So this is brand new, $5. So that was 50 right there. Now I got paid back for these, but uh, my brothers also got a Fox Amiibo and a Ike Amiibo. So those are the other two they got, but those belong to them, so they're not here. Uh, now also something else I got right here, which I'll show you all the stuff. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and show the Amiibos first and all that because I showed them right here. Now earlier that week, as I said, that's the only stuff I bought on Friday. Uh, earlier that week, what ended up happening was I went to GameStop again uh, when I was visiting my parents and everything, and they had a sale on used Amiibos and figurines and all that, and it was buy two, get three free. 
yeah, that, that's actually a pretty good deal on them, even if you're not into them. And all of these were like $12 a piece. So what happened was, I don't even remember the other ones, but I just pretty much, I bought all the Amiibos they had. They had four, so two of them are for my brothers. I gave those to my brothers, uh, or they will be getting them, you know, later on. And then for myself, I got Mario right here because my brothers have Mario. I have Super Mario, but I don't have the original one, so I picked that one up. And then uh, Inkling Boy. I got this one uh, just because, you know, it was there. I just wanted to get all the Amiibos because they had four. I got all four of them. Uh, and my brothers already have this one. So, oh, I got the Inkling Girl. That was the other one. And then I can't remember the, the last one. But I only wanted to get, like, three of them at first. And I said, you know, whatever. I I'll get, you know, two Amiibos. I'll pay for two, and then I'll get the third one free. What happened, funny enough, was that deal didn't go through. So the guy was just like, yeah, no, it only works for five. You have to get five figurines. So I looked around, and I think it was Mario. I wasn't going to get him because I already had one, but I was like, eh, whatever. I'll just get Mario, and uh, what is the other one? And then there was no other Amiibo, so I was like, you know what? I like Groot. I'll get Groot. So this is Disney Infinity right here, which I have absolutely no plans of picking up or playing or getting, but I like Groot. So I got this just because I like Groot. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, these guys I got for free. The other ones I paid $24 for. Uh, so $24 for, you know, five figures, that's not bad. And then 10% uh, off because I used my friend's uh, little GameStop discount. I think it's either 10 or, no, it's 10%, so got that. Then right here, you all might be looking at this GameCube and wondering what is going on with this. Well, this is actually gonna be a little bit of a spoiler for another video, but I'll show you this stuff right here. This is actually modding equipment I got. So these I did pick up on Friday, actually. Uh, so so those are the only things physically I got, but these ones, uh, Machip Central on Friday was actually having a sale, so I ended up getting, I don't even remember the, the deals on all these to be honest, but uh, I got some modding hardware because I had like $120 I want to say in credit there and I, it was gonna expire, you know? So I just decided to use all of it because I really don't buy much stuff from Machip Central anymore, uh, or really too much modding gear nowadays, unfortunately, but I decided to use it up. So I got a uh, R4i save dongle right here, which I believe you can even dump your uh, 3DS games directly from this, but you know, I can still dump my saves, all that good stuff. Uh, a CR4 chip, so the Cool Runner 4, this is the last Cool Runner to come out. Haven't even opened it yet, but I mostly got this because as many of you all know, uh, a lot of this mod hardware it's really hard to get later on so I decided to get it now uh, the DS2 4-in-1 now I got this because uh, it works it's updatable it will work on the 3DS and it, it works really well for DS ROMs but it also plays 3DS ROMs the thing is with this um, I've actually looked on the 3DS hack subreddit and people have said do not update it because this is actually uh, kind of a sort of a ripoff clone type thing of the Gateway 3DS. And for anyone that doesn't know, the Gateway 3DS, they do have a kill code installed on their, uh, uh, in, well, embedded in their firmware. And what that means is if you try and update a fake or not genuine or even, you know, a modified, a unauthorized modified um, version of their operating system and you try and update it, there is a chance that you could brick your 3DS. Yeah, no, you heard that right. Not the card. There's a chance you can brick your 3DS. So I mostly got this for, you know, the emulation like Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, and also the DS games, uh, just because it has two C... I, th I think it does have its own CPU in there, or it has two CPUs for the chip. I'm not sure, but either way, I've wanted to get it for a while, so I decided to pick it up, but I'm not going to be updating it past a certain point. Uh, then right here, I've actually wanted this for a while, but it's the X360 USB Pro 2. I got this because, as I said, these are going to be harder to get later on. And I had the uh, Team Jungle Edition or the first version of the USB Pro, but this has a lot of nice other features. So for example, you can actually power up a 360 drive that you're flashing uh, directly from this. So you just need one piece of hardware instead of two. So if you want to, you can power it and hook it up to your computer at the same time. Uh, also, I rip a lot of my 360 games, you know, for preservation purposes and all that. Or I have some 360 games that are scratched up and I don't feel like getting resurfaced, so I'll make a backup copy of them, anything like that. What I normally do is uh, I have to go and find my 800 flash drive or reflash a drive with 800 firmware, hook it up, rip the game, all that stuff. This actually has a nice little bonus feature where you could hook up a drive and enable 800 mode on it. So you could have a 800 drive without having to, uh, you know, reflash or anything. So if I want to, let's say I pick up a game, it's kind of rare, I want to rip it. 
uh, I can take one of my 360s, take it apart. I, I know a, a lot of people who don't know about this, it sounds like it's a lot of work. Uh, I can take apart a 360 in like one or two minutes. It's, it's not that hard, but I can take it apart, pull out the drive, just hook it up to this, enable 800 firmware, and then just flash it right there. So a little bit more convenient. So, uh, or not even flash it, excuse me. That's the whole point of not flashing it. Uh, right here, this came with, what exactly is this? This is a, oh, this came with the flash cart right here, I believe. See, this didn't come in any box, it just came in there, but this looks like a 3DS or a DS Lite cable to USB cable. So, got that right there. Now, people might be looking at the GameCube and wondering what this is. It's not really the GameCube that I got. I did buy this recently, but it's not the GameCube that you need to be worried about. It's actually internals. And inside of this is a Xeno GC mod chip. So, I got a mod chip for the GameCube. And the reason why I did that is because recently I got a few Japanese consoles. I got a really good deal on a bundle of Japanese systems. And I got this one right here. Uh, the, I didn't. I had no interest in the GameCube. I really don't because if I want to play any GameCube games, I got a Wii. Um, but I didn't really want to get the GameCube, but it was thrown into the deal. So I said, okay, you know what, sure. And it's Japanese GameCube. Like, not kidding. It's Japanese GameCube and everything. Thing is, I don't have any Japanese games. As I said, I'm not very interested in the GameCube. So this is pretty useless to me. But... The Xeno GC was seven dollars. Yeah, it was only seven bucks, and I said, you know what? Uh, it, it'll be fun to mod in. I've never modded a GameCube, never opened one up, uh, and it's only a seven dollar mod chip. I'll go ahead throw it in. The thing is so small though; it was like this big. The thing was so small that I ended up just soldering it in just so I wouldn't lose it because, spoiler alert, I'm actually going to be moving here soon. And another spoiler alert, uh, this is, I actually do have a video showing how to install the mod chip as well. So that's going to be the video that comes after this. So it'll come out in a few days if you're watching this when it's brand new. Uh, but yeah, also I was able to make sure that it plays backup games and everything like that. So that works out real well. I just picked that game up recently. It's quite fun. Uh, but yeah, no, that's all there was for the modding gear and everything. So we'll go ahead and move that over to the side. Now this ended up happening, let's see, uh, at one point I think on Tuesday or something of that week, Best Buy had a uh, buy two, get one free sale. Now for anyone that doesn't know, I hate Best Buy. But for anyone that doesn't know, Best Buy also has something called the Gamers Club Unlocked, which you pay $30 for a two year membership and you pretty much get 20% off all brand new games. Yeah, even ones that are on sale. So you'll get 20% off all brand new games. You'll get like double the points when you buy games, like for reward points. And in addition to that, you also get 10% off used games and you get some other things as well too. So Best Buy is really good for buying games now, but I still don't like them. There's a lot of things I still don't like about them, but if I'm just buying things online, it works out well enough. So I end up getting these, right? Uh, so you all might've seen, you know, the duplicates and everything. Uh, some of these... Actually, I'll just I'll say this right now. This is the only game that's mine. So I wanted to try out Need for Speed. I picked it up on Xbox One. Uh, some people might be wondering why I didn't get on PS4. Got on Xbox One because uh, honestly, I actually looked at a Digital Foundry video of it. And I think the PS4 version ran at a better resolution, but the Xbox One version, the textures looked better and the colors looked better on it. And also, honestly, I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, you know, I, I kind of, I don't know. For some reason, I kind of want to play a racer on the Xbox One controller over the PS4 controller. So I decided to get on Xbox One. So whatever. Uh, got that. Uh, but then right here, got uh, two copies of Halo 5 because those are going to be present. So as I said, this entire stack right here is all present. So I got Halo 5, Halo 5 again, Splatoon, Super Mario Maker, and Mario Kart 8. Now these two I actually supplemented. These are my copies of, Mar of uh, Super Mario Maker and Mario Kart 8. The reason why they're not here, the used ones I got, is because um, they I actually sent them off already to the people that are going to be getting them. Uh, but yeah, no, aside from that, these games right here, honestly, they're all in pretty great condition and they were $50 a piece, right? And then, you know, with my 10% off, they were 45 a piece and I got one free. So I even figured it out, like I calculated it and everything. I'm like, you know, that's about $30 per game, which is still a pretty good deal. Like these were games, some of them were not even on sale that week. And then others, you know, $30 a game was cheaper and they're all in great condition too. The only thing is uh, the sticker right here. That's it. Uh, now they all came, you know, shrink wrapped and everything, but I opened them up just to make sure that everything was fine on there. But also in addition to that, I don't have the DLC codes, but I did get the nice little uh, deluxe edition cover for this as well too, which I was not expecting. So yeah, those are all, as I said, this is all, this is my game. That's it. All these, eh, if they stop sliding. 
Uh, all these are for other people, so, you know, it is what it is. Now let's go ahead and take a bit of a break from the game stuff, and I'll actually show you music stuff, and you all might be wondering, wait, Mario, you bought music? Yeah, I did, and uh, I don't buy it as much as I do, as you know, before. Uh, I do buy music, you know, either in vinyl or CD, just because of the sound quality difference and everything, and also if it's an artist I really like, I do want to support them buy it. But the thing is, a lot of music I listen to is already distributed for free, like legally, so I really don't have to buy too much, but this is either music that I... I listened to a few tracks off of uh, or anything like that or uh, I just haven't listened to them because there were some albums here where I was like wait really this this band released a album I did not know that so uh, yeah no we'll go ahead and go through these right here so uh, these were all seven dollars except for one of them which I, I, I'll tell you all but uh, right here got Shinedown's new album uh, Dr. Dre's Compton Breaking Benjamin Disturbed, Immortalized. I opened that and I have not listened to it yet. Uh, the Weeknd, Beauty Behind the Madness. Adele, I've listened to, a friend of mine actually had it and I listened to theirs. I was like, this is a really good album. So I decided to pick it up. This is the only one, by the way, that was not $7. This was 10 because it came out the same week. So it, it was still discounted, but it wasn't a Black Friday deal. And then I got two copies of Fetty Wap's album and these are, or Fetty Wap, however you say it. Uh, I don't like this album that much. I've listened to it and... Uh, for anyone that knows Trap Queen, it's kind of like Trap Queen's the first song on there, and then it, it, it's a 17 track, I'll, I'll put it like this, it's 17 tracks, and the first song is Trap Queen, and you know that, and then after that it kind of sounds like there's 16 more slightly different variants of Trap Queen. I wasn't a big fan of it, honestly. So, it, but then again, it's not really an album you listen to for substance. But uh, why did I get two copies? Well, he only has one eye, so I had to get you know a, two eyes worth it. No, no, not really. Uh, these are actually going to be for friends, so that's why they're still sealed up and everything. So uh, these two are not mine, and all these albums are mine right here. So we'll go ahead put those all back and some of them as you can see I still need to open up but others you know I've listened to and everything so good albums there all right now we have some games and some hardware but we'll go ahead and cover the games right here so uh I got Tony Ox Pro Skater 5 a lot of people who know about this game probably know how bad it is or how bad it was uh, I'll put it like this you know for a Tony Hawk game it's pretty basic uh, it's definitely not going to live up to the other ones, uh, but I've wanted, a, I just kind of wanted a Tony Hawk game recently, and this game did not come out well. It did not have a successful launch at all. Most people didn't even know about it, and when it came out, it was just, it was horrible. But it's gotten quite a few patches, and the patches actually came out after I bought the game. Uh, I bought it because when I saw it, I was like, you know what, for like, if I ever buy, find the game for 15 or 20 bucks, I'll pick it up. So uh, I decided to get it because um, it was actually $20 after my discount. So I'm going to give the discounted prices on here, but uh, this was $25 originally. I just bought it up for $20. And I will say after the patches, this game is actually really fun. There's a few fundamental things that I don't like that much about it. A few little features here and there. But aside from that, like the game works performance wise. It's all right. Um, no, I'm actually having fun with it. It's actually taken me off of Fallout 4. So that's been fun. So it was 20 bucks for that. $16 for Helldivers. I've heard quite a few good things about this. So I decided to pick up the Super Earth Ultimate Edition, which also has the PS3, PS Vita versions, all the expansions, DLC packs, and a bonus weapons pack. Uh, Mortal Kombat 10, I think this was $20, I want to say. So I'm actually not a huge Mortal Kombat fan. And I realized that after renting this game when it came out. And I was like, you know, I'm not a big Mortal Kombat fan. But I said, for $20, I kind of want to play through the game. And I, I can just mess around with it sometimes. So got that. Uh, God of War 3 Remastered. This was $16. So I uh, decided to, because I kind of want to play the God of War games. I've only played a little bit of the first one. Uh, but I said, you know what? I'll get the prettier version that's on PS3 and... Eh, whatever, it's $16, it's fine. This right here I was kind of conflicted on, but this is another game I said I will not buy it until it's like 15 or 20 bucks. This was $16 right here, so Gears of War Ultimate Edition. The reason why I'm not a big proponent of it is because they've done a few wonky things. First off, this is just a remaster of the first Gears of War that came out almost 10 years ago. Dang, it's been that long. But, uh, no, this is just a remaster of it, and the multiplayer is 60 frames a second, it's smooth, it's solid, it's nice, it's beautiful. I don't like Gears 1 that much, I don't like the multiplayer that much, and I don't like the campaign that much. I'm not a big fan of the campaign, but I've played through it like four times. Uh, and also, the campaign is 30 frames a second. Yeah, so the campaign's 30, and the multiplayer 60, which I'm not going to touch the multiplayer that much, 
But the thing is, I do have this on PC, but the PC version kind of sucks to run sometimes. It's kind of a bit of a headache. So I said, you know what, I'll go ahead and get this. And also they took the few extra chapters that were exclusive on PC, put them on here. So I decided to pick it up. Uh, also one big thing, not gonna lie, uh, girlfriend is a big Gears of War fan. So she had this game because she, she picked, at first she didn't want to get it, but then she ended up caving and picking it up later, just like what I did. So now I can actually play this with her because we don't have too many games that we can play with each other in four. Unfortunately. So that's one that we can add to the collection now. Uh, I'll probably get my ass hand to me at multiplayer and I'll try and convince her to go to single player. She'll say no and then maybe eventually play some with me. But yeah, uh, 16 bucks for that. Then right here, Blaze Blue or Blaz Blue, however you say it. Chrono Phantasma Extend. Had to look at the title there because it was all shiny and everything. Uh, you know what? Th this is a good example. Okay, this is why I hate the Xbox One cases. Look at how stupid that looks. Like, this is the right way the case is, okay? It's right set up, it says Xbox One, it looks all pretty. You open it up, not only the disc is on the left side, as opposed to the right, where every single thing has been. No, seriously, look at this, okay? Shine down, CD, the, the disc is on the right. Let's see, Vita game, we'll open this up right here. The game is on the right, right there, everything. Uh, PS4 game, I'm gonna show you all this later. Open this up. The disc is on the right. It's been like that, but no, Microsoft wanted to be different. They have it right here, and guess what they do? Then you can't put this thing in properly, right? So you could also say, well, Mario, just flip it all upside down, you'll be good to go. So yeah, that looks a lot better, but then guess what? The case is not right side up anymore. I I, I hate it. There's a lot of things I don't like, you know, directionally with the Xbox One. I hate the name of it. I didn't like the controller. The controller's better now. The newer ones are better. And I hate the cases on there. So uh, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, by the way. I got that one off Amazon. So I picked that up for 20. So hardware, we'll go ahead and move over to that if I stop knocking things down. Uh, Nintendo eShop cards right here. These were 15% off. So I paid $34 for this pair of $20 cards right here. And I got one for myself, one for my brothers, which I'll be giving that one to my brothers at one point. Uh, because my brothers actually just got a week you. So I got this for me just in case I want to get anything on the marketplace. And I got this for my brothers because they are going to be getting some games and they already have some games on their Wii U they just got. And there's some DLC they want to pick up. So I said, you know what? I'll go ahead and get a $20 card for them. I'll be the cool older brother with that. Uh, right here, Amazon Fire Stick TV or Fire TV Stick. I ended up getting this off Best Buy. I know I could have gone off Amazon, but it was the same price on Best Buy and it went on sale earlier. This was 25 bucks or it was 24 or 25 one of the two. Uh, either way, I actually do want to play around with this at one point, but I'm going to wait a few more weeks to play around with it, see how it works and everything. So got that. And then the PlayStation camera. So now I can test out the cameras for both Xbox One and PS4 and not really Wii U because it's more built into there. Uh, but I already have the Kinect. I said, you know what, the PlayStation camera, I want to try it out a little bit. And this was $30. So I decided to pick that up and give it a try. Then right here, we have some extra games. So Let's see, move this over right here. Uh, these games I ended up getting from Gamefly. That was it. And this is where I wanted to say these games were used and I wanted to, you know, really plug Gamefly and say, you know, I don't use their service anymore and I'm not sponsored by them or anything, don't worry. But uh, they are great to buy used games from because see, they normally send you the disc and what they do is they buy all these games in bulk and they have the cases and everything in pristine condition. But if you buy a game used from them, you get the disc, so you could either get it complete if you buy it, or if you rent a game and you decide to keep it, they will send you the case and everything. So they send you a pristine condition case with the art, with the booklets, and even the DLC. So you pretty much get a super discounted new copy of a game if you buy from Gamefly. That's why I actually like buying used from there, but they had some deals right here. So this is why I'm gonna say that they weren't the best right here at least, but it'll kind of turn around. So right here, I got Legend of K Anniversary on PS4. Honestly, don't know that much about it, aside from the fact that it was a platformer published by Capcom on PS2, and it got the anniversary released on the Wii U and PS4. Uh, and it seemed like it seemed like it would be a fun game. Not really the best game, but fun enough. Uh, it's kind of hard to find as well too, so I don't think that's going to be super rare. But I actually found out about this game from Adam Korolik um, because he had picked it up on Wii U, and they did a really weird release with it. Uh, but I decided to pick it up on PS4 because I said, you know, I'd rather play the PS4 version over the Wii U version. So got this for $15. And then these two right here, I honestly don't remember which one was which. Uh, but Wasteland 2, Director's Cut. 
I've heard, I don't know that much about it, but I know a lot of friends were excited about it and people were really hyping it up. And I said, you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Sure. Even though I do have a Wasteland game right now, which would be Fallout, but it almost looks like Fallout 1 and 2. It's kind of what it looks like to me at least. And then Zombie Army Trilogy. I always wanted to try this actually, and I just never have. So I decided to pick this up on Xbox One. Uh, you know, just, I don't really know what my reason was for getting on Xbox One over PS4, but whatever, I got it on Xbox One. Uh, but these were, one of them was $20, one of them was 18 I want to say, I think this one was 18 and this one was 20 I believe that's it, but either way, those were the prices I paid on those two. Uh, the reason why I was kind of iffy about it, as I was saying, like, you know, the Gamefly thing, so this is the bad thing that happened, right? The story with these is I bought these three on Gamefly. Now, my distribution center for Gamefly is in Missouri. I live in Kansas. Somehow, these went from Missouri to Kansas to Anchorage, Alaska, and back to Kansas. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I really don't know. But because of that, the games end up getting damaged a little bit, or the cases. So, the PS4 case is actually quite good. Um, I think the PS4 just has sturdier cases. Xbox One cases, though, check this out. Zombie Army Trilogy. It's all busted up and everything, and uh, it doesn't really close properly anymore. And then Wasteland 2, same thing with this. And see, this is another stupid thing with the cover. They put it in backwards. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, that one's busted up as well. So I actually hit up Gamefly Support, and they are actually going to be sending me brand new cases for these two games. I don't know if it's going to be the cover art, because the cover art got a little bit messed up here, but they will be sending me new cases at least. So they came through on that one, which I'm happy about. But I got my games. They seem to be working just fine. And then the last thing I wanted to show you all, that's all the Black Friday stuff, right? The last thing I wanted to show you all was uh, this game I got right here, which it was just such a good deal, and I got it yesterday that I had to show you all, right? So I got Devil May Cry or DMC Definitive Edition on Xbox One. I actually really like this game. I played it on the 360. I really enjoyed it. And uh, this comes with, I know it comes with like new features, DLC, new skins, all that stuff. So I completely forgot Virgil's Downfall DLC came out, which I've never played. Uh, so, and then it comes with, you know, little extra features like Bloody Palace and things like that. I like this game, a lot of people didn't, I really liked it, but I went to Best Buy yesterday, and I saw they had this game on clearance for $13. It's normally a $40 game for the record, so $13, not bad, right? Here's where all the, the Best Buy stuff comes into play. So I had about $20, I had a $10 coupon and two $5 coupons that I get, you know, just because I was buying stuff from Best Buy. So I said, you know what, $13 game, I'll use a $10 coupon on it, I'll buy it for three bucks. Then I ended up getting 20% off of that purchase. And then, you know, tax came in and everything. So, you know, I had that, it was on clearance, 20% off, $10 coupon. When I paid for this, I paid 42 cents for this game. No, brand new, like complete and brand new. 42 cents for this game. Like, as in, I gave the cashier a one, and this happened, I gave him a one dollar bill, and he laughed about it, and he said, wow, I have to give you more change than what you gave me to purchase this game. So, yeah, as I said, after tax, I paid 42 cents for this, which, I mean, dude, the case is worth more than 42 cents, like, really, at that point, but no, I'm actually having fun, that's probably the best game deal I've gotten in a while. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off, thank you all for watching, everyone, and uh, checking out this video, hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you